Good morning, everybody. Strange backdrop this morning. Possibly even stranger noises for me that you can hear in the background. I've come down this morning to the Heritage Centre at the original Speak Airport. And I'm standing by a de Havilland Comet, which is being renovated. Bare metal, as you can see, everywhere at the morning, at the moment. So we're gonna have a wander around and have a look at some of these old aeroplanes. You can see behind me, over my right shoulder, the original airport building and control tower, which is now a hotel. And uh, Liverpool Airport, which is known as John Lennon Airport, is further over to the south with a new runway. So we're going to have a wander around and see what we can photograph and film with the Olympus EM1. So I shall speak to you shortly. The few people that you can see wandering around are actually staying at the hotel. One of the entrance and exit routes from the hotel leads straight out onto what used to be the apron of the original airport. This is a great place for anyone interested in aviation and photography. A little light aeroplane taking off, which you can probably hear. <clears throat> Not exactly crammed full of old aeroplanes, but nevertheless, some great opportunities here, I think, for some creative work. And if I'm not much mistaken, that's a Gloucester Meteor or Javelin? Not Javelin. That was the Delta Wing. Gloucester Meteor, I think. Fabulous. So I'm going to stow the video camera and take some stills. Speak to you shortly. The texture and everything on this Gloucester Meteor is just fantastic. The rivets, the access hatches, everything about it. Obviously very weather beaten. In need of a great deal of money spending on it to bring it back to original condition. And the faded RAF roundel on the side of this Gloucester Meteor is just wonderful.
not a huge amount to look at here, but it's the history of the place as much as anything that interests me. You've got these wonderful old airplanes. Shows just how times have changed really, doesn't it? And this fabulous um, Art Deco airport terminal behind me, which is fortunate in that it's been turned into a modern hotel. At least it's preserved it because with funding being the way it is these days, I have a strong suspicion that if it had been left empty, it would have just decayed. Huge area of apron still here. Amazing, really. Some of the hotel guests are entertaining their children. But it's brilliant. Really, really good place to have a look. I'm not going to say it's going to entertain people for even an hour, maybe. Um, if you're a dedicated aircraft enthusiast, if you're a dedicated aircraft enthusiast, then yes, maybe. So I think it's probably time that I say goodbye to Liverpool's Speak Airport, head back home, do some research on these planes, dig myself out of any holes that I might have dug, and I'll see you soon. It's no good, I'm going to have to do some research when I get back home because this is definitely not a de Havilland Comet. <laughs>